Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mayno's in the building. Yes. Good morning. Let's get into some Yee tea. Now, let's get into Terry Crews on Club Shay Shay. The audio is out. The full video is coming out today. Uh, but one of the things that he addresses is the issues with Gabrielle Union. If you recall, they were on America's Got Talent together. And she felt, and he was not, she didn't just feel this, but he was not supportive during the time that she was having issues and experiencing discrimination. She talked about this on Jamil Hill's podcast. And Terry Crews apologized at a certain point, but he did not, um, it didn't feel like he was really that sorry at that time. And so when he went on Club Shay Shay, he talked about running into Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, and here's what he said happened. Dwayne Wade comes up to me, he gives me a hug. I said, man, can I talk to you and your wife together? He said, man, come over here. And I went right over and I said, I am sorry, Gabrielle, because there's things I didn't know. Because I'm speaking angry, I'm da -da -da -da. but there was so much to the story that I didn't even fully understand. And I, I screwed that up. Mm -hmm. And then the internet got involved, and then it, it was horrifying. I mean, he apologized on social media because Gabrielle Union talked about how he was very unsupportive and there was no solidarity. He even went on social media and said, there's only one woman on earth I have to please. Her name is Rebecca, not my mother, my sister, my daughters, mm. or co-workers. I will let their husbands, boyfriends, partners take care of them. Rebecca gives me wings. And so I guess he felt like I'm not in it. You know, at, right. the time. at the time, then he apologized on social media. Then he told people that he apologized three times publicly. And if a fourth is needed, I will continue to apologize and push for reconciliation. Here's what else he had to say uh, while he was on Club Shay Shay. I apologize to her face again. I said, Gabby, please, please accept this apology. And dude, she did. She gave me the biggest hug. Dwayne and Gabby, I got nothing but the utmost respect. And I'm just thankful. I'm thankful to call them friends. And I'm thankful that they gave me the shot to say that I apologize to their face without the Internet. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Sometimes that face-to-face -face conversation. Yeah, it's needed. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, things could happen and you could have been wrong at that time. There's nothing bad about saying, I was wrong. I'm right. sorry. I mean, that's what we're human. Adult people say. All right, now Ja Rule, he was supposed to be performing in the UK, and unfortunately, they won't let him in. He posted on social media, I'm so devastated, I can't believe the UK won't let me in. I spent a half million dollars in production of my own money to put this tour together, only to be denied entry days before my shows. This is not fair to me or my fans. These venues are 85% sold, and now I can't come. And he did say the UK is one of the few European countries that restricts entry to people with criminal records. In general, you will likely be denied entry if you have been convicted of a crime punishable by 23 months or more under British law or serve more than 12 months in prison. Wow. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that because I've been to the UK. Right. Yeah. I wonder if it's different if you have to get like a work visa or... Right. I know just... Canada is rough on that. Yeah. Yes. Canada is We've rough. We've heard people, stories I of people being turned away. I had to so much to get into Canada. Well, of course, you know, when something like that happens, 50 Cent is going to weigh in. Right. So 50 Cent went on social media and... Um, you know, he said, I had nothing to do with this B not getting in, LOL. And then Ja Rule, uh responded and said, N-word, you vagina, uh, uh, shut up. <laughs> and, yeah, so. I guess they're just going to go at it for the rest forever, of their lives. Forever, right? Every like, now and then. It's not every day, but every now and then. 95 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Still <laughs> going at it. All right, well, that is your Yee Tea. And when we come back, we have About Last Night. Now, I had a long night. And you know, today is day three of my fast, so I still haven't had any uh, any the solid drops. food. Yes, oh, I didn't even take my drops yet today. Come on, let me get those. So I got to make sure. I think I have some for you. So let, let, let me find drops. out where those are. But I'm in the midst of this detox. So it was hard for me to be last night out recording. I was mm. doing lip service last night. Right, I know. And you know what that environment is like. And then everybody ran out the room to eat. I was just sitting there. But we'll talk about it. And we'll find out what you did last night. In the meantime, here is Chris Brown, Buster Rhymes, Little Wayne. Look at me now. <laughs> 